Kyle Bree Clark, the Sassy Social Media Maven here, sharing with you tips on mobile marketing and your online platform. Today's tip is for those of you who are not fiction authors, who are simply just bloggers, mommy bloggers, bloggers about reviews, bloggers about marital mm. issues, whatever you want to be blogging about, this is your opportunity to learn how I use mobile marketing in my own online platform. So what I really like about building one online platform with blogging is that, and mobile marketing, is that um, you may have some people who want to follow your blog who may not want people to know that they're following your blog. I know that sounds crazy, but in truth, those people are out there. Mobile marketing provides a way for them to do that without having to have anything traced back to them. They can easily receive your updates, look at them, read it, be done with it. Especially if you're offering marriage advice or advice on a controversial subject that's very near and dear to their heart that maybe they haven't, you know, such as child abuse or such as, you know, your child being a victim of abuse or bullying or just anything that, you know, it's just private. Another thing that I really like about blogging and being able to follow by social or by mobile marketing is that in 2011, Blog heard of a study, and in that study, they polled their followers saying that 86% of women, and please don't quote me on that, I'm going by memory here, but 86% of women got their information about what the topics they were looking for via blogs. Blogs have become a four-letter word that women trust. And second, 76% of those 86% of women who read those blogs, that got their info from those blogs, read them on a mobile device. So, what I do with people having the opportunity to follow my blog through mobile marketing is I will say, they text Free Clark to 90210. And via that text, they get my blog sent to their phone with the shrink link and a little intro saying, hey, this is what it's about. And then it, it, I use iZig as a platform of my, that I prefer to use. There are many out there. Personally, iZig is, is, has served me very well, and I'm happy to put you in touch with the people that can set up that for you, if not myself. But beyond that, the great thing about Isaac is you can schedule this to go out, like you can schedule a blog post. So if I have a blog post that I've created and it's going out on a week from Friday, I can get on Isaac, I can create that intro, use the shrink link of the blog post, and have it go out about 30, I try to do it about 30 minutes to an hour after I've um, scheduled the blog go out just because, well, actually I take that back. I try to do it later in the afternoon because my blogs tend to go early in the morning at like 6 a.m. and you really don't want to be sending a blog uh, text message at 6 a.m. to someone. Uh, they probably are going to be unsubscribing pretty quickly. So I try to do it so safe it goes out at 6 a.m. in the morning. I go back to it at 6 p.m. at night. So anyways, that's one of the ways. Uh, that I do it and I found some great success with that and it's um, a useful tool and it's something that I think is the next uh, step in social media marketing and our writers and authors and it coming in bloggers and you know creating that other level to your marketing platform so if you have any questions please leave them in the uh, comments below if you Want to have any suggestions? Please, I'm totally open to hearing that, and I appreciate your support and your feedback. Have a great day.